Good Friday morning. From the earliest days of the church, Christians have ended the Lord's Prayer with the words, For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. We find something very similar in the prayer of King David here in 1 Chronicles 29. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord. You can easily see that these words make a fitting closing to the Lord's Prayer. What's more, it was a standard practice to end prayers with a doxology, a declaration of highest praise. So, like other Christians throughout the centuries, we declare this doxology with confidence and with joy when we come to the end of the Lord's Prayer. These words remind us of the majesty, the power, the glory of God our Savior. They resonate in our hearts and assure us that God loves us, provides for us, and sustains us. They also point forward to the day when God's kingdom will be fully known, while creation will rejoice at the coming of the Lord. Praise His holy name forever. We worship you, Father, for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Help us to live in such a way that our words and our actions proclaim who you are. In the holy name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.